Hey, I'm Alex, I'm, I run Holy Raw Records. You have to just go out there and play a lot of gigs. It's all very well having a very professional SoundCloud and a very professional Facebook, uh, but the proof's in the pudding and that pudding is playing live and drawing an audience live. Even with the bands that we support who are at the beginning of their career, we often find that they're the bands who have really cut their chops live and have been playing live for you know, a year, two years, and have learned their craft by playing live. I believe that, you know, especially for a band early on in their career, playing live and selling records at your gigs is paramount to sort of taking that next step. There's so much information that you have to actually physically make connections with people, whether that's in a live environment or whether that's literally on the street at shows. I mean, you know, on Twitter or Facebook, you know, you can click on something and you can like it or anything, but you can forget in two minutes because there's such a barrage of information. We've definitely come around to the fact that uh, all these things complement each other. So rather than them fighting against each other, e.g. vinyl versus streaming, um, they're more like complementary. Find one or two artists that you genuinely believe in that work really hard. And I mean work hard physically rather than in terms of on their phone or the internet. If they do that and they can back it up with great music and a great live performance, then that is literally, that would be my advice to anyone wanting to start a label or a new artist. You know, both of those people need to be out there physically. A new record by Giants. They sound like Sum 41 crossed with Comeback Kid and Alexis on Fire. A reissue of More Than Life with Love Let Me Go. Slab Dragger with Rise of the Dawn Crusher. A progressive sludge stoner doom band. Yeah.